Good evening. So how many of you are excited about summer vacation? What a bunch of liars. And this slide, this next slide is going to prove it. If it'll move along. There we go. So the chart here shows that we've seen a steady decline in vacation usage over the last 30 years. And if you notice, it's accelerating at a pretty rapid pace to the point where we're, we're giving away a week every year. Well, why is that? Well, here's a fancy infographic that gives you a lot of reasons, but really they come down to, to being uh, afraid to take the time off, or let's just put it off until later. And those really, when you, when you pare them down to the basics, come down to the, to the feeling that you get from the corporate culture. So this means that their companies are making them feel like they can't take that vacation or making them feel like their careers are dependent upon being there. And this, this needs to stop. And, and it's really not uh, that surprising because executives are like the worst. Even if they're telling you, take vacations, 3% of them unplug. They, they, most of them surveyed don't even, haven't even taken a vacation in the last year. So, I mean, why should you? Well, one, one reason is that you are significantly less likely to die of a heart attack. And if that doesn't hurt your productivity, I really don't know what does. <laughs> There's also other very serious uh, health conditions that you can contract by, by holding on to stress, both mental and physical, as well as, as tumor spreading. The, the growth of tumors are accelerated by stress. But really the most important thing is sex, right? <laughs> Now, this is probably astonishing to all of you, but sex is a lot more fun on the beach than it is cramming it in between deadlines, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so if you're, worried, <laughs> if you're worried about your career, don't be. The, these hard statistics show that for every 10 hours of vacation you take, you are likely to get 8% higher on your performance review. And, and if that's not all, I mean, there is... There have been studies that show no correlation between, you know, staying in the office and whether or not you get a better bonus or if you get a raise. So, I am going way too fast. So let's let's put this into perspective. So what are we giving away? About a quarter of our vacation every year, about five days per year, a full work week that we could be spending on the beach. Well, what does that look like in terms of dollars? Well, first, it's 169 million vacation days in aggregate, $52.4 billion, which is more than all of the salary paid out by any of those four states that are shaded. So it really comes down to this, this concept of a vicious circle. We, we, we exit college, we're all uh, empowered by life, and we're going to go out there and we're going to make a difference, so we work to elevate to make that difference, but really what we're striving for is, is that sense of, of security and, and, and completion so that we can spend time with the people that we love doing the things that we love. But we can't because if we do, well, we might fall behind at work or there might be a lot, uh, a lot of work stacking up. So then we work harder so that we can elevate and so on and so forth and ad nauseum. So here's some, as a leader of, of a company or if you're in a position where you have a team, there are some hard statistics that show that you should encourage so this shows 30% improvement in performance for a one-week vacation. Also, turnover. Turnover is, is terrible. Turnover is horrible. It's, it's costly. It's a pain in the ass. And it, costs you, it can cost you up to 150% of a year's salary. Also, this is, you should look at it as a leader as an opportunity when you go on vacation to give your, your subordinates a chance to step up and, and show leadership skill, showing that you trust them. And also, you got to remember the most important thing is that as a leader, if you say it, you can preach it from the choir. It doesn't matter. If you don't do it, they won't believe you. So this, this next graphic, it's quite busy. But what you need to take away from it is the top part is what managers believe people think about vacation, their, their position on it. And the bottom part is, is how their subordinates feel that they think. So there's a real big disconnect there. So in closing, I want to urge you to, to take that vacation, take some time for yourself, take, take it with your family. And as leaders, remember that you need that vacation too. 
and do not get caught in that vicious circle. Thanks.